Make some spiced candied cashews today. We're going to start out with just your standard salted cashews. Um, you know, the broken pieces are really the most affordable. Uh, so I usually don't pay for the premium, so I'll just get these and they work out just great. Uh, we're going to start out by boiling them. Yeah, the reason we want to boil them is we want to soften these up a little bit so that they're not quite as crunchy. They want to, they'll take on a little more of a chewy consistency. It doesn't take a lot of water, just a little bit. We're going to bring that to a boil. And we're going to let that boil for about half an hour. After they've boiled for half an hour, they're going to come out looking like this, where they've changed their look a little bit. They look a little shinier, a little glossier. And at this stage, we're going to dust them in some sugar. We're going to put them in just a standard confectioner sugar or powdered sugar. Stir them around a little bit, get them nicely coated. And then we'll sift all that excess sugar off of there. So I don't need all of that sugar. So once I've got my extra out of the way, we're going to take them and we're going to add these to some hot canola oil. Now the canola oil you're going to want to have it at around 350, 375 degrees. So be careful as you place it in so that you don't splash it on yourself. Just set the spoon right on the edge of the oil and then let it slide off. You don't want to drop it from a height. Now it doesn't take very long for these to cook up. We're just looking for a light browning that will set the sugar on the cashew. And let those go for just a minute. And then I'm going to take these out of the oil. You can see they're just starting to brown around the edges a little bit. It's just right. I'm using a perforated spoon or you could use a slotted spoon would be just fine. I'll shake off that excess oil. At this point I can turn the heat off. Now I'm going to bring these back over to my counter. I've got some crushed chili flakes. You can use cayenne pepper if you would prefer. I like the crushed chili because it's a little coarser. It stands out a little more. Gives people a little bit of fair warning that there's some heat to this. Although it's not overly spicy. It's just a little bit of spicy, a little bit of savory, and a little bit of sweet all going on at the same time. Take that. These are nice and warm, so you want to be careful you don't burn yourself. Let them cool just a bit before you eat them or serve them to your guests. But this is a great snack if you're having a party, if you've got some friends coming over, just as a nice little starter to put it out. And it goes great with everything.